Chance here for Norwich! Oh, what a goal! Grant Holtz! I think he's taken the ball, plays it across, and he's gone in from Josh Sargent! So, obviously, thanks for uh, taking your time to come and see us this morning. Of course, no problem. Obviously, uh, coffee, you a big fan? I am, yeah. I got into it a lot when I was in Germany. Never really had it much in the US. Um, I was 18 when I first started trying it. I remember I went straight to the big guy, had an espresso for the first time. Oh my God, it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad, but- put, uh, It didn't put you off. It didn't put me off, kind of kept trying it because it was just a big thing over there. Germany's and, quite strong with coffee. Yeah, yeah they are. they'll have an espresso 8 p.m., 9 p.m. after dinner, just to help with digestion and everything. And so, just got used to it, and yeah, I'm really into it now. Are you a morning coffee man? Are you an all-day coffee guy, or? I, yeah, I need a morning coffee, but I'll have like three, four usually during the day, so are I you, love it. Are you a fancy one? Have you got a big machine with the feet? <laughs> I'm lazy, that's <laughs> why I say it. I'm really lazy. I, I go No, I have my in, days. But... My machine has actually been broke at home. Like, right. there's a couple pumps or something wrong, so I haven't used that for a while, but I like to make a good coffee when I can, yeah. Is that because you've been at home too much being injured? Or? <laughs> no, I'm at the training ground even more now, <laughs> working hard. <laughs> On the injury, how is it going? It's going well, yeah, everything's progressing the right way. Um, I haven't had any setbacks or anything so far, so hopefully, you know, it continues that way. Football-wise, obviously, it's been, been some journey, hasn't it? Obviously, left, left America early, mm -hmm. over to Germany. Yeah, was yeah. that a big leap of faith, or was it just like that you knew it was gonna happen kind of thing? Yeah, so I was already away from home. I'm originally from Missouri, yeah. moved to Florida for a couple of years, so I was already was away from IMG home for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't play for IMG Academy. We went to school there, but we were just with our U17 national team yeah. pretty much, and we just trained Wait, there. Let's have a look at that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's a very good campus. They uh, they know what they're doing, and they've pumped a lot of money into it. It's like a college campus, basically, yeah. so it's really good. But uh, yeah, it was really good there, and then went to the U20 and U17 World Cup, and team saw me there, and yeah, that's when I got scouted and went to Germany. Me. and it was a, definitely a culture shock at the beginning I don't know how it was for you you said you went to Singapore yeah, when you were young. It, yeah it was I, was I was pretty similar like 18 19 I was kind yeah. of I've been playing in England and been non-league and done all the hard ground you want to see in any of these rough no. grounds that I've been to <laughs> anyway but um, hopefully you might get the odd one in the FA Cup and you'll realize how yeah. hard it was um, yeah and I got a chance to go to Singapore and it was literally like leap of faith kind of thing do I go try a new culture go and see something different because I'm very similar, Carlos, and where I'm from is a really small place, mm. and it was kind of like a massive shock to go to, to Singapore and stuff. But I think it shapes you. I think you learn from it yeah. a little bit, and then actually just to get out of your comfort zone and go and go, this is me. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you've gone into a professional environment. How did you find it coming from like the college kind of environment straight into yeah. that, that kind it was of... It's pretty crazy, honestly. I think it was... That was probably the biggest shock, you know, it was one thing, the food's different, language is different, yeah. whatever, but when you get into that environment where these guys are all pros, you know, you start out, you're with your youth national team, yeah. you're the I was the captain, you know, the best guy on the field, so confident, then you get there and it's kind of like, whoa, because these guys, you know, young American kid, cocky, yeah. whatever, coming in, they're all abusing me every day in yeah. training. Anytime. In German. Yeah, in German, so don't even, yeah. maybe that's better, I didn't understand yeah. what they were saying at the beginning, but... Yeah, it was just, they were brutal with me, and I remember there were definitely, you know, trainings after I went home crying, like, I don't know if I made the right decision. Were you with you, did you take your missus with you then? Did you meet her, or have you met her since? So, we we were high school sweethearts, oh, okay. we met when we were 14. Um, she didn't move over originally with me. I was there for six months on my own, yeah. and then after that, she moved with me. But yeah, those first six months were definitely it's really hard It's tough for me. balancing it. Yeah. I don't, I just seen the thing, obviously, I was, my wife with child of sweet, so I met her, I was 16, she, uh, she was 14, same, oh, same nice. kind of things. Yeah. And um, she came to Singap Singapore with me because I'd done a stint in uh, Australia for four weeks, five weeks, and I couldn't handle like it's, the whole thing. Hard, yeah, yeah. So to actually have her there in Singapore would give me that little bit of somebody there to kind of calm right. me down a little bit. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're still with her now, so it's obviously, yeah, yeah. you didn't kill each other in Germany, you're, you're all we right. Made it, yeah. um, <laughs> You you got your your little one. Yeah, we have a little one, and then another one on the way. Oh. Actually, she's really close to being uh, due. It's the first week of November, and we'll have another little girl. Oh, so you'll yeah. definitely need plenty of coffees, won't yeah, you? Yeah, plenty, plenty more. <laughs> Maybe bump it up to five or six a day. But what what was Germany like getting there? Trying to learn the I, ca I can't get my head around the. I've, I do I've been doing a lot of scouting, and I've been to Germany, and I've been all over. Germany's a hard place to get around anyway. Yeah. When you when you don't really. What, what, what's it like being in that dressing room when you? don't really understand obviously I know they speak good English but on me yeah. over there is it is it that much difficult is it, is it tough the language itself yeah like you don't understand anything so it was nice you know 
the coach himself was really good with, you know, he'd speak in German the whole meeting and then he'd pull me aside and kind of explain things, right, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, in English. But um, it's definitely, you know, hard at the beginning when we're on the pitch and he's not changing the English too much. So he's yeah. just speaking German. And that's when you pick up little bits here and there, understand what certain words are. And obviously I was going to lessons the whole time, yeah. you know, I was there, so that helped a lot. How, yeah. many, how many times did you give it the old art? You knew what they were saying, but you had a bad game. I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't know remember. what you're saying. I don't remember having a situation like that. You definitely but, have. You definitely I probably did, I heard yeah. it from the side. So I, yeah, I know what you're saying, but I'm just gonna ignore you anyway. Probably, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, was it a shock when Norwich come knocking on the door? Um, a little bit, yeah, honestly. Well, we obviously know it goes behind the scenes, there's talks, conversations yeah, yeah. going that shouldn't happen, but they do go on. Yeah, yeah, no, I but mean... But when the, the interest came in and went, actually, this is something that potentially could happen, did you know it? I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a clue about Norwich. I knew Norwich from Brian Gunn days, you know, all the Premier League stuff, but yeah. I didn't have a clue where, kind of, I knew where it was, but I wasn't that thing, I didn't really know much about the place. Yeah, no, I... So was it, did you know much, or was it a little bit, I better Google these quickly and yeah, find exactly. out what's going on? I was about to say that, I think, uh... I, I didn't know anything about Norwich, honestly, and so you Google it right away and you look up, you know, it's it's one of the safest places to raise a family yeah. and person was pregnant at that time, so that was like a good thing to hear and you look at the history of the club and this and that and obviously they were being promoted to the Prem, so everything just seems, you know, really attractive for me. And as a, as a city, as it is, has it held up to what you Google and what you yeah, thought? Yeah, yeah, it's a good place. It's a, it's a nice, safe place um, to raise a family. My my family's been very happy here so far, so we like it a lot. Yeah, so yeah. far, don't say so far, you'll get in trouble because everyone <laughs> think you're leaving when you come back. Um, obviously, we've got the memorial, mural of the, the man behind us, Timu. Yep. How, how hard is that, sitting behind someone like that? Difficult, <sighs> frustrating, but I've, I've been in the same situation. It's like, yeah. I remember being a young kid when I was at Chef Wednesday and I had like a uh, Chef Kikuki, Lloyd Wu, uh, Mark Robbins is a bit of a legend here. They were all in front of me and I mm. came in this young kid, fresh, wanted to get all the ideas and they kept scoring and playing and you're thinking, I just want to play up front. But <laughs> then you get so low, you go on the left wing and you think, well, I, I want to play so I'll do the job. But yeah. it, it's difficult, isn't it, when you sit yeah. behind someone? Yeah, 100%, you said it. I mean, you, you can't say much, can you? Like, they, they've had a reputation here, they've scored all the goals, so it's, it's not like, you know, you can do anything about it, really. You just got to put your head down and keep working hard. And uh, luckily enough, Timo was a really good guy, so yeah. I didn't have any problems with him. But just, yeah, on the football side of things, it, it's definitely tough. You must have been buzzing when you heard he was leaving, though. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. You were just like, oh, yeah, this is funny. Like, no. give me a cuddle, I'll see you, Timo. But actually, thinking, thank God no, he's leaving no, the building. No. He was a great guy, like I said. But um, yeah, when Wagner came in and, you know, he's like, no, I see Josh as a striker. I think I heard him say in a press conference when he first came here, I was, I was a little bit like, Whew, a little bit weight off my shoulder, you know, like finally I can play the position that, yeah. you know, I'm was it Was play. it tough when you're going back to the national team from being, at, play, not playing the minutes here as much as you'd like, but you still yeah. play plenty of minutes to actually go back and then be like a forward with the national team and kind of drift and then you're playing where you really want to play and all of a sudden you come back and you're like, oh, you're on the left yeah. wing today. Yeah, it was, it was a bit odd. I mean, even, even when I went there, I was playing winger so often, even back in Germany, I'd yeah. go there and I, I remember I played one qualifying game on the wing had a terrible game, came out at halftime. I can be honest with you, I actually uh, watched it. Did you? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry you had to watch, it, watch it. Yeah. I mean, it's just... It's a big pool, isn't it, America now for us, yeah. especially the scouts yeah. when I was doing the scouting. It's like, it's the, one of the regions to now yeah, watch. Yeah, so I actually yeah. watched that game. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> a lot of good young talents. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to watch that. But um, no, you're just put in situations where it's not, it's not what you like to do. It's not where you feel comfortable. Um, away games in general, you know, qualifying, it's a tough game. And so he pulled me at halftime and that started a stint where I didn't go for a year, I think it was, back yeah. to the national team. And so, yeah, it's, it was a frustrating time, you know, you put your head down, you work as hard as you can, but in the end you're not in that position where you know you can be the most impactful. So it, w it was tough, but, you know, don't, I don't regret having that experience, you know. It is it easier? I always found it's easier when you're looking and someone's doing well ahead of you and you're not playing and you're still doing the right things in training. You've got to make sure you keep that standard. We had mm -hmm. a thing here with when Paul Lambert was here as a, as a group. We had a, a strong, solid group, but training was unbelievable because he had to be because he'd play from nowhere. Mm -hmm. I don't think people understand that all week mentality to not play on the weekend and then as a forward as well, especially, you get 10, 15 minutes here and you're either going on to run channels yeah. and that's all you're doing, keep the ball in the corners or you're going on and you need to score a goal and everything just goes haywire and if you don't yeah. score it's like well that's what you came up and yeah. your 20 minutes went the other way. Yeah, Did yeah. you find that quite a lot? Uh, yeah, I mean it's frustrating. I think any player that's in that situation, you know, you have 10-15 minutes to come on and make a difference and the 
game is what dying out. You don't really have any chances, and it's oh, there's your chance. And yeah. so, it's it's definitely frustrating for guys. And you know, you feel like you're training hard all week. You know, you feel oh, no matter what I do, you know, I'm not going to get in the team. Yeah. You know, I'm not scoring when I come in. So there's definitely hard times for players. Is it? It's interesting because obviously, start the season, you started, you're on fire, doing what you you do. Mm. You'll look at it and go, I haven't done anything different all pre-season, done nothing. Mm -hmm. The fans think you've done this unbelievable <laughs> change over the summer, you've done this, you've done this. You haven't done anything. Yeah. All you've done now is you've got a run of confidence where you're playing. Mm -hmm. You've obviously got Barnsley, who's completely different, yeah. who heads, kicks, scraps, does, yeah. everything that, <laughs> yeah. does everything he's done for the last few years. Mm -hmm. And it gives you that freedom to go and do what you do best, which is working yeah. with people, getting in channels and going and finishing. But yeah. fans will always think that, that you've done this miracle over the summer. It's just a right. case of confidence, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, confidence is obviously, I think, the biggest thing for a footballer. Um, getting in my position, like I said, and yeah, having Ash come in, you know, he, he said right from the beginning, you know, I don't care if I score any goals. Like, I just want to help us get promoted. I want to help you score more goals. So hearing that, obviously, as a striker, it's like, oh, like somebody that's coming in, helping you that much and so unselfish. You know, I didn't know what to expect from him. He's yeah. this experienced guy. I thought he'd be a bit like, oh, whatever. But he's he's one of the best guys I've met. I think really. it's because he, I think a lot of talk of when he came in, people ask him my opinion. Or he's like, well, you're not going you're going to get exactly what you, what you see from him. Yeah. It, I said I've played against him before. He's a good guy, but you know what you get. Mm -hmm. He's all about the team. He's all, yeah. was always a Burnley. He wasn't bothered about it. it was him, Rodriguez, whoever was scoring goals. As yeah. long as he was in the team and doing it, that's exactly. and that's what you need as a group. You yeah. need that thing. Obviously, it's not been a help. We'll talk on the last couple of results. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say that you two aren't in because we're not winning. But it has been, it has, the last couple of results haven't, haven't been the best. But it's, it's a little bit you've got to calm down, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've had you know a couple of good games, a couple of not so good games. So it's been a bit weird, definitely. But you know, the guys are trying to do the right things. We're trying to you know implement the things that Wagner is telling us about. So you know, just need a couple more games, get a good rhythm going, and hopefully, you know, the guys can get some good results. A little bit on the manager, what's he like? I don't want to hear the tactics stuff. Just tell me exactly <laughs> yeah, what he's like as a person. As he's a good guy. I mean, he's a good guy. He's he's quiet, but gets along well with all the guys. So, um, yeah, no complaints spoke, on I my side. I spoke to a lot of the Huddersfield lads. They really like his manner, the way he spoke, when he needs to sit, he says yeah, something yeah. relaxed and, and behind the scenes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, he knows, you know, when to get on the guys if we're not on it that day. But at the same time, he knows how to say the right things and get his message across. So, he's a good guy. So what do you do to relax when it's not football outside? Obviously, you've got the little and we know she'll keep you busy. Yeah, that, that's yeah. kind of what you do. Loads have, of Peppa Pig and all that kind of thing <laughs> of on the course, TV. Don't and have movies. much time to do stuff. But what, what, if, you, if it's go-to, what do you do? You've had your coffee. What do you do in the afternoon if you've got a bit of free time? <sighs> have more coffee and yeah, I'll just watch a show or something. Right now, I'm watching the Beckham documentary. Okay. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. I didn't know. I'm watching. I watched the second episode it was and right. it's talking about you know how he got that red card against yeah. Fran or against Argentina. Let's sorry. Let's talk about it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize it was such a touchy. Th I didn't even realize that what? happened. I have a T-shirt of that World Cup. Don't wear that. I wore it and right? like didn't realize anything was wrong with it. But a couple guys made comments and I was like, yeah, it's a cool T-shirt, whatever. It was the physios at our club and uh, yeah, now you didn't not realize it. I did not yeah, realize it was such a big deal. And how crazy it was. didn't cost whoa, the World Cup to get that because I went. And how crazy it was, yeah, with him and the media. And we're stuff. a little, as your fan, we're a little bit passionate about the World Cup. Yeah, I think yeah, because we're not winning for a long, long time. So anytime <laughs> it's World Cup Euros, we're desperate for that trophy. Yeah, yeah. So it is a little bit touchy. It was crazy to see, honestly. He's had a whirlwind in life, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable, really. I didn't realize all that stuff that he went through. But, you know, he survived and. He's a good guy now, so. He's a good guy. He's <laughs> living here. a good life now. in case now. you need to move back into Miami? Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, I'll that? take yeah. it if you want. It's but. amazing. I met him a couple of times, actually, not <laughs> football-wise. I met him when they were, at, obviously, he's part owner of Salford as well. So I met them when they, when they'd done them. Just a really, really good guy. Yeah. Just, just really honest. Came over, spoke to everyone. I don't know how he does it. He was there, honestly. He must have been there for about an hour, done about a thousand pictures, just yeah, like with yeah. everyone in the front row. But what else is there? Movies, pictures. You're a reader. You're a walker. You're a are you a sportsman outside? Yeah, I like sports, yeah. I, I actually seen the other week, which is random as anything, which I've never seen in Norfolk. I went by, um, there's, a, there's a McDonald's, I'll give it a reference, just on, on one of the roads. Uh, I think it's Hall Road. I went by and there's a guy, have, they're having a baseball match. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So that was a bit random. So when you go by there now, you'll see they've actually got the, the thing all set up and they've got the net behind for after okay, the, I think nice. the pitcher stands there and catches it. <laughs> yeah. um, they've got like that net ring around. Yeah, yeah, nice. So what sports, any, what, do you it's, like any? It's hard to keep up, obviously, with the yeah. time change, but I watch a bit of NFL, yeah. you know, Who's a lot team? of time. 
I don't have a team. We used to have the St. Louis Rams. Where yeah, I'm yeah, from, the Rams, yeah. They moved away. Well, they're following anyway, don't they? So you're not with them, no? No, they moved away. So now I don't really have a you team just anyone. like to watch. Yeah. See, but, I'm the Bucks fan because obviously we were with the Bucks. Okay. So yeah, I went yeah. over there and done gotcha. all that. So I was like, that'll do me. Yeah, and it was yeah. way before Tom Brady came, so I wasn't jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> but I love it. NFL's brilliant when you get into it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. When you know is. the understanding, it's quite hard. I still don't know all of it, but actually the rules <laughs> and all the understanding of it. Yeah, it's good. A lot of the guys on the national team, they have their own uh, little fantasy league and everything. Oh, do they? I don't. I don't get Who's into top? it. Who's top of it? I think Walker Zimmerman, a guy that plays in the MLS, is yeah. usually on top of the league. Yeah, because yeah, he's there and he can stay up for probably, the right times to yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, probably. I would assume so. He studies a lot. but If you yeah. had to pick one to play, soccer or NFL, which one would you go for? To play? Yeah. And be like really good at it. Top, top. Oof. Top, top. Probably NFL. Would you? Yeah, probably. Why? I'm, it's in the U.S. where I'm from. Yeah. So well, no, there's only nice. the U.S. know it exists. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's the biggest thing in the U.S. Um, <laughs> yeah. So good. That's it. So do you read? Do you do anything? Are you a, are you a reader? What what calms you down in the evening? Obviously, we all know the best thing that the national anthem of kids is the night garden at about 7:30 when the kids go to sleep yeah, and you can yeah. get get your own time back. Yeah. No. I mean, usually during that time we'll watch a movie, watch a series, or something. What's your best movie? Best movie. You have to pick one. I don't. That is I, tough. You're going to spend Coach Carter or something, and you're going to. No, no. The, Remember the Titans? Is that, is no. that one? Is that, is that? That's a movie, yeah. yeah. No, I think the best one I watched recently was Tenant. I don't know if you've right. seen it, but it's like, it's kind of like a psychological thriller. It's pretty good. I can't even explain it. It's like. Is that good? Go and watch it, everyone. It's good. That's but go and watch it. It's pretty good. It's good to watch. <laughs> so, on America. We'll talk a little bit of MLS, we'll talk a little bit of World Cup. What, what's it like being an international in America? That's good. I mean, <laughs> being an international, you know, for any country, I think, is amazing. Um, the group is getting deeper and deeper. A lot of guys are coming over to Europe and really challenging themselves. And, you know, you can see with the results, you know, how we did in the World Cup. Yeah. We, I think we impressed a lot of people. I think, I think what I always find with it, the American setup, obviously, it's been a stint where people have gone, then came back, then a lot more has gone. Mm -hmm. I think what you tend to find a lot more now when you're doing the scouting for, your, like you just said, there's a lot more in Europe. Mm -hmm. Do you think the MLS is ever going to get there in terms of, the, do they need to change the model of what they're doing? Because, it, because for instance, obviously for you now, obviously the likelihood you go back, sign a contract, you sign, you're the, the, the main player, the, one of the main European guys. An old man now at 36 with three kids can't go over to <laughs> can't go over to America, go and play a game because one minute you're in Austin, next minute turn and go. Actually, tomorrow you're off to LA and yeah, you've got three yeah. kids. And how how is that even going to work? Because if the league doesn't if they don't shift the the model, it's never going to compete, is it? Yeah, in my opinion, anyway. It's it's tough to say. Obviously, there's not you know. No, it's not. You can say ball. it. No, you, you don't have to change the ball. <laughs> what's what's exactly going to happen? I think. You know, They've got to change the model, though. It's getting it's... better and better, but yeah, you, you look over here, you know, there's relegation, there's yeah. people, you know, their jobs are on the lines, and it's a lot more competitive, whereas there, you know, you don't make playoffs, and the playoff system, I think, in general, is just an it's odd thing crazy, to have. Isn't it? You can dominate the whole season and then lose the first game in the playoffs and you're yeah. out, so that's strange, but, you know, I think, you know, it's going to get better and better, but there needs to be relegation, people that, you know, your, your job is on the line, yeah. money's on the line, you know, if... If so you don't make playoffs, you have three months off holiday, and that's why it's so attractive for older guys to go there and just try to relax, and it's not, it's not as competitive as it needs yeah. to be. I think as well with the, the money that goes to the younger ones floating around, it, it's just not there, is it? It's, it's no. tough. It's, yeah. it's kind of a single person's kind of life, isn't it, mm -hmm. when, you, when you're at that level? You need to travel and go everywhere because yeah, you, yeah. you haven't got the, the finance and resources to do it, and yeah. I think that's, that's the biggest thing. I actually believe with being over there and seeing a few games, we, we were linked with obviously Tampa a while ago and going and watching a few of their matches. It, the appetite's getting there, it's, it's yeah. now there. Obviously yeah. we've seen yeah. it in the World Cup, the appetite is, the World Cup's obviously going back in a few years, so that'll give them that, that lift again. But yeah. I think the appetite's effort, I think they just need to kind of do it. What, what it is great is the scout that's going on there at the moment in terms of like everyone going abroad, Germany, yeah, yeah. Italy, that they are kind of going all over the place. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a bit of a multicultural kind of squad now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There? yeah, there is a lot of different cultures, but it's, it's really good, I think. I mean, I think, in my opinion, you know, I looked up to guys like, they're not so much older than me, but Christian and Weston going over to Germany, yeah. that's what made it attractive to me. And I think 
people probably saw me go and you know it's kind of starting to snowball effect where a lot of guys are getting over here and pushing themselves. Do you think more staying for longer now rather than everyone getting out when they're like younger ones, 16, 17? Do you think they're trying to stay in the league a little bit longer, yeah. get that bit of repetition and then move off from there? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think... I think he's at that Pepe, is he going... Pepe is yeah, at PSP right on, now, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, he's been over here for a bit. I mean, yeah, I think... You look at guys in your position, what they're doing, they're staying over here for longer and longer. So in your head, you're like, oh, you know, I need to stay over here and push myself too if I want to, you know, stay a part of this international pool. So it's just, you know, good, healthy competition of guys coming over here and just trying to get better and better. So listen, it's been absolutely fantastic. It's been an absolute pleasure and uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you Let's very get much. you back good on the pitch and score some goals. Let's do it. <laughs>